So now we're looking at the May 2009 paper, which would be the last of the papers that we're doing from 2022 down to 2009. So let's have a look. So sucrose makes a good transport molecule as seen in phloem tissue because it is a wonderful right this is alpha this is beta so which of the following statements is not true of both isomers all right so an important property of cellulose is its ability to beautiful all right so we know that plants have cellulose cell walls right what does the cell wall of most of the prokaryotes made all of peptidoglycan beautiful the arrangement of the polypeptide strands in collagen is best described as a wonderful all right so which of the following indicates the food substances present in the student solution so let's look at what the student has so Birrett's test gives a purple color that gives protein, right? Benedict's test is Benedict's test is blue remaining, right? So no reducing sugar, and then we have non-reducing sugar. So we have non-reducing sugars. Uh, beautiful D. Here now, this is quite interesting, right? So what do X, Y, and Z represent on a phospholipid molecule? So X is uh huh, and then why? Okay. So in the chloroplast, light energy is trapped in the. Wonderful. All right. Eight. Which organelle is involved in cytokinesis in plant cells? Golgi apparatus, hmm, interesting thought. Any other answers? That's interesting. All right. So we don't know what the answer is generally for this. Do we think okay? Let's look at this. Is the chloroplast right? Is central right? Yeah, I say they don't really do that. Right? Endoplasmic reticulum, what, what does what is the purpose of endoplasmic reticulum generally? Generally. So we would say that um cytokinesis in plants, right, it usually occurs from like the protoplasm, right? Generally there. But I would say that for this specifically, hmm, that the Golgi apparatus would be the main one. But it's vesicles that move it, you know, right? Created by the Golgi apparatus, I would believe. Right? Nine. The area labeled X is represents C. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Materials are moved in and out of cells by various mechanisms. Which of the following mechanisms are affected by respiration? Go ahead. How would number eight be? All right. It's probably based on the fact that plant cytokinesis is driven by vesicles, right? And I think that would make more sense that the Golgi apparatus would be the ones that create these vesicles to move the plant cells um the plant cytoplasm all right so it wouldn't be central because they're not visible in there there's not they're not really present chloroplast would be highly unlikely and endoplasmic reticulum would be just a long shot so it'd probably be golgi apparatus
so it's vesicles remember you know it's not really um centromeres no, it's, remember we're talking about cytokinesis vesicles grow between the two areas right it's golgi vesicles you want me to show proof because i feel like you're unsure you're unsure okay i'll just send the proof either way yeah i'll send the proof either way um give me a moment let me send the proof into the group where is that group let me text biology give me one moment my apologies my apologies this should be it so on this diagram you should see golgi vesicles okay so materials or okay so we think that which one is affected by respiration so it's going to be exocytosis and active transport three and four <laughs> extrinsic no not necessarily okay so you say a it's gonna be that Facilitated diffusion is active or passive? It's active? It's passive. Alright, so because we're not moving anything against it, against concentration, they're just flowing through the membranes um, across the concentration gradient. So I would say that. All right, here no cell protein is gonna the channel of protein is gonna be X, cause yeah, so that makes sense. Here twelve, which of the following bonds is represented by the line, the dotted lines there? Wonderful. Okay, so here we see this. So, chymotrypsin is an enzyme that is found in the human alimentary canal. It is it is act well it is active over a narrow range of alkaline pHs. Which of the following um curves represents the activity of chymotrypsin? Beautiful. Which of the following curves best represents okay we know we saw this before. From two thousand nine this question has been coming. Okay. Which of the following is represented by the label X? Why is X? I don't even think this is a valid question. This question isn't even valid. Come on now. Then this would be cytosine as we were discussing before. Right? So what type of bonds are used to link nucleotides together? We spoke about this. Hydrogen would be it. Um, why is... Uh, the copied portion of DNA longer than the, uh, the functional mRNA molecule produced from it. Oh, wait, hold on. Phosphodiester linkages, yeah. The nucleus that is not based. Sorry, I just saw that. Thank you so much. Okay, so why is the copied portion of DNA longer than that of the functional RNA molecule produced from it? Because the exon portions is in, are included in the, uh, are, well, are the only ones included in mRNA? Is that true? Do we all agree with C? Oh, yeah, somebody's saying A. Think about it a little bit more. Nobody has had another answer. So we're saying C. 
Interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the exons. I need to know. What is that intron? I don't I'm not sure what introns would generally do in this case. But yeah. Uh, Alright. 19. Structures that may be observed in animal cells during mitosis but are not seen in cell division in thorium plants are centrioles. Because we know it's Golgi vesicles do that. Do some parts of that, right? Go ahead. B. Okay, let's see what's new. The DNA portion contains a promoter region. The promoter region. Mm. The promoter region. That makes sense, no? That makes sense. Wait, that makes sense for real. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about it. When you look at it, right? Okay, let's see this. Wouldn't oh okay I'm seeing something right the exon specifically can we define what an exon is an exon isn't like a segment of DNA or RNA like that codes for a protein and then an intron wouldn't code for a protein exon and intron. So intron wouldn't be here in this case. I I was saying it directly before, but like exons, exons would generally be what the mRNA and the DNA strand is speaking about or generally about. The promoter region, though. Hmm. A where reverse transcriptase would. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting what you're saying about the promoter region. I'm getting what you're saying, for real. But the exon would just be um but it, it depends you know because the exon is just a region that codes for the protein right but and that would not include the promoter region right and why is the dna longer because the dna con in contains the promoter region right so i would believe that and i don't think the exons are the own well i don't think only exons are pro are portions of the mrna right does the mRNA have stop codons? Does it? Asking you guys a question. 54 of you. Okay, yes. That means that the stop codon wouldn't be an exon. So that makes sense. I have to drag back this information from way way. Alright, so let's look at this. So in a rat cell, oh, we did this, right? Hold on, let me check this out. Let me check it out. Okay, with sub 32 All right. Here we have this question again. Oh, this didn't repeat. All right, so Mendel crossed pure breeding round and yellow peas with pure breeding wrinkles and green, wrinkled and green peas. The first generation were round and yellow the first generation the first generation seeds were self-pollinated and the seeds of the second generation showed the following characteristics the major conclusion that can be made from this data is that what's happening with this information
Are they completely dominant? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Do you have another answer for this? Okay. The dominance. So I don't think they're epistatic for the most part, right? Um, 22. The mRNA molecule transcribed from DNA does not contain... I, I mean... 23. Which of the following statements correctly describes the difference between RNA and DNA? That makes sense? Alright. Let's go up a bit. Two parents, both blood group B, have a son with blood group O. The probability of their next child having the blood group B is... Okay, what type of dominance is exhibited by A and B? Co-dominance. Beautiful, right? So based on it now, right, we're saying that they produce a um O. That means that they need to at least have um wait, wait both B, right? So that means that they need to at least have B O. It's gonna be B B. B O B O B O. So the probability that they have B is gonna be this. So yeah. Oh sorry. Let me create like let me make them smaller so you can see that there. Alright. So which of the following may be used as a methods of gene transfer? A DNA gun, a plasmid electroporation, or a virus? Or it could be all of them. We don't know what electroporation is. Know that this is... Oh, ele electroporation? Mm -mm. It's a part of it. Do you know what a DNA gun is? It's a gene gun. I usually call it a gene gun. I don't know what a DNA gun is, but okay. Alright. So one, two, I would say one, two, one, three, probably. But the gene gun specifically, what is the gene gun used for? You guys seem lost. Okay, so it's a delivery system. So I would believe that if if it's a gene gun they're referring to, right? Then yeah, 
if they're not referring to a gene gun, then B. What's happening here? Which form of gene mutation does the diagram illustrate? Beautiful. Twenty-seven. After which of the following G forms of gene mutation will a change codons occur? A change in codons occur. So it's frame shift, right? Right, so we're gonna have this as the best answer here. Giraffes, this one is directional. You guys did say that I don't have to read over the questions if they're repeated. Right, improved human nutrition for our production of transgenic plants. The most significant role of allopatric speciation is gonna be geographical isolation. Right, um, what of the what which of the following provides nourishment for the sperm producing cells in the testes? It's erytoli. Which of the following is not a part of the antho? Which is not a part of the antho? The funicle. What is the funicle? Alright, the funicle is the stop that the whole that the ovum is on. What is the function of testosterone in spermatogenesis? So, right? From way back at 2009, these questions come in. Hold on. Wait, so wait, what? Let's check. What's the answer? C. D would be FSH, right? Well, not necessarily, but we're gonna, but that's not the purpose of the question. <laughs> 34. A diploid nucleus is formed at? Mm -hmm. Which other structure is responsible for the release of pollen grains? 4. So what is this, this area called? Okay, all right. When it, it's gonna burst open and the pollen grains are gonna be released. All right. Which of the following structures of the seed is derived from a triploid nucleus? All right, endosperm. Here now, the role of X is to. Wonderful. Here now we have one, well, not one, one, two, we have microtubule, which of the hormones triggers release of ovum from the ovary, Sneezing hormone, which of the following is the effect of high dose of progesterone only pills? The complete inhibition. Right, I hear the structure X is exchange of materials makes sense. These are not right. Go ahead, somebody is this somebody ask a question? Raise a hand. No? Okay, because I hear the sound in also. 43. The following are advantages of two types of pollination, right? What is, which ones are specific to cross-pollination? Alright, so... Okay. Okay, so what's happening with 41 then? B? No, it can't be B because the bill of the endometrium is by estrogen, not progesterone. It's the wrong, um, wrong hormone.
Now it maintains it, it allows the continuation and proliferation of it, but the estrogen starts the building up of the lining. Alright, that's why estrogen will increase and then progesterone will take over. Alright, so it's something like that. Here now we have a diagram that I hope to never see again in my entire life. Um, which, why is the structure labeled X? What is the answer? What is the trophoblast? Okay, so the trophoblast there. So you're going to have the endoderm inside the, the blastocyst. Then we're going to have the trophoblast being the sperms outside. Hope you know this now. What is a blaster cell? The blaster cell. Do we know what the blaster cell is? Are the blaster soil? Yes. No, the blaster cell is the fluid. No, it's a fluid filled area in between. So the fluid filled area is the blaster cell. And then 45, which of the following is the outermost extra embryonic membrane that contributes to the formation of the placenta? What would be the answer for 45? The Allen toys, somebody said the Amnion, somebody said the Korean. Interesting. We agree with C. Okay. I think it's worth on this jelly, you know, but okay. Carry on. So we're gonna have this thing this inside of trophoblast and the site of trophoblast and mixing with embryonic connective tissue and everything and then the chorion will start to form so I think that would be one of the most important parts of it alright so that is the last of it the last of how many papers that would be 14 papers alright from 2022 to 2009